I have just had my daughter, who is eight weeks old now. Um, prior to that, I've also got an 18 month old son. To be honest, I was sitting on my couch at home looking after Cooper 24 7. Uh, cleaning the house, watching TV, nothing much at all. There was a lot of kids missing. And when I asked about where they were, there was one, two, three, four, all pregnant or all had kids. And I felt when I asked, where, what are they doing with their lives? It was nothing. They're on the couch, they're sad, they're depressed, they're not doing anything. And I got a bit emotional that night and really started to think about what can we do to try and help these girls get on their feet, back on their feet. So we took this problem to the Smith family and the Smithies had a bit of a think about this and went and started knocking on doors, making phone calls and enlisting support. So the Trobe City got on board, Berry Street were offering support, uh, Community College Gippsland, and they discovered a, a childcare centre nearby that had um, vacancies and helped us locate a suitable space where we could operate a VCAL class nearby. The Smith family's uh, main mission is in the education sector, ensuring that um, all students have um, access to education because we know and it's evidence-based that providing students with education um, helps them break down barriers of disadvantage. We were able to do a model based on a minimum number of students. We were able to provide the course at no cost to them. So there's no education fees and there's no childcare fees. And that's the biggest barrier for people returning to study is being able to afford the childcare and also to be able to afford um, the books stationery and the IT. So we've been able to provide all of that to the students because of the number of students that we've had enrolled, but also because we did receive a grant from the state government from their retention fund. So that's enabled um, us to start off this year um, fully funded. So it's a VCAL program, so they need to cover things like their literacy and numeracy and uh, personal development and then work-related skills. So it's all project-based learning that incorporate all of those areas at once. They had no idea that they could sit down for one hour, let alone three, four hours a day, and complete a piece of work as expected. They'd never done that before, and they didn't realise they could. I reckon it's amazing. Like, because everyone's so open, it's made me like not out of my comfort zone, I'm actually comfortable. It was great, I like it. I actually was excited to come to school today. It's good. Everyone's really friendly and really wants to help all of us, so it's really good, I like it. It's been great. I've made a couple new friends and it's been awesome. The value of it is just incredible. In terms of just their emotional needs, this couldn't be better for them. Um, the, the regular system of um, putting them into a mother's group out of the hospital system, it doesn't work for these girls because of their age group. So they just love being with each other. They're all in the same boat. Um, they've all been through it before and they've got so much to give to the mothers that are pregnant. Um, and just so much sharing, like it's just beautiful to watch the sharing and caring. You're with mums who you can talk about, you've got advice, you're in the same situation whether we've got partners or not. There's a childcare centre across the road. It just makes it easier and it's a relaxed environment. So it's a lot better than going to school. It's not as full on as going to school every day. So yeah, it's good. Bringing Ashton here, I was like, I know where he is. I know that he's gonna be looked after and it's free. Like, I don't have to pay for it. Like, while I'm getting an education, he's, he's got oh, he's great. The fact that I was with other like young mums, they know what I'm going through. Yeah, it works perfectly because I'm over here and he's over there. Being around other young mums who most of them have been through the same stuff that I have. There is a lot of logistics and paperwork behind the scenes to get this model um, up and running and it's through the strength of the partners like Latrobe City um, and Centrelink and um, the referrals from Berry Street and you know the local community of Maui at the football club and cricket club that we have got to where we are today. We couldn't have done it um, just the Smith family or Kerr and I. Our involvement was initially around being able to work with a fabulous team of people to provide a space where the young mums could access their education program and still be comfortable that their children were being cared for in an accredited licensed childcare environment. This being a pilot project, we definitely have done a lot of the legwork, like we could 
um, advise people how to best go about it in the future. We've, we've gone to the dead ends and we've come back and found the road past that dead end. And I'm really proud to be part of it and to have helped to set it up because watching these girls being able to come to school and, and find that, that, that comfort in their peers and not be ridiculed for, for being a young mum and, and better their future for them and their families is truly amazing. Finishing my year 12 was kind of something that I wanted to do as a personal goal and now I get to do it so it's good. Definitely to get a job out of this because not a lot of people will hire kids, well teenagers, who don't have their year 12. Um, mainly to just accomplish something in my life and I just wanted to do something a lot bigger and a lot more meaningful with my life. Get a better education so I can actually go off and get a better job for Ashton instead of just working like a supermarket. In the end to get a job and I want to do what's best for Elijah, my son, and give him what is best for him. Well these girls are locked out of a future um, because they've, uh, they've got a bubba and they've chose to keep that bubba and raise, raise that little baby themselves which is such a brave decision on their behalf and on their family's behalf for them. This is right there to provide a pathway for these girls to get back back in school and on with their life and not let um, the fact that they've had a baby be a setback or a drawback or an anchor to their futures. As far as the community is concerned we've got less welfare dependency. Um, if this is able to get a roll on throughout um, a region for instance we've got more confidence coming out from our young people, more people who are excited and wanting to go into work and more importantly they've got um, their kids are going to grow up in a household where there's people working and confident mums and happy mums and all of a sudden we see a generational change, a cultural change that can really shift a dynamic like the Latrobe Valley and where I'm from, I really want to see that change.